I was younger, I was um, like interested in like you know in school and I was musical and stuff. I wasn't really that interested in sport at all, and I think it's just because I, was, I just it didn't it didn't it didn't seem that relevant to me. But when I started skiing when I was about seventeen. I just thought it was the most incredible feeling to be able to ski on your own with nobody's help. You know, um, things like hockey or like even just running, they, they never really like, or even like trying to do Gaelic or whatever, it just never really, um, it didn't inspire me in the way that being on skis and being able to go fast and yeah, it was just, it was so incredible. Skiing at um, speeds of like up to 75 miles an hour, like in our races and stuff, and even then we're not just going straight in a tuck, we're like turning and things. So it's just a really amazing feeling to be able to, to trust in someone else and what they're telling you and then to be able to make turns and to be able to come down to the bottom of the run and go, okay, like that was scary, but like we're gonna go up and we're gonna make it faster. We're gonna really tighten up that turn and drive into the skates. It's, it's a really amazing feeling to be able to, to do that. And every, every run, it's lovely to be able to train and technically make it better and better. And yeah, I, lo I just love it, it's really great. Yeah, so I'm two passports, born in London, lived, because my father was a pilot, lived in just outside Belfast and spent all of my summers and weekends and all my time down in Donegal and my mum lives in Strand Hill, so I don't know where I'm from. <laughs> <laughs> So you train in a multi-sport environment in the Sports Institute in Northern Ireland, so it's really lovely seeing like um, athletes of all different shapes and sizes and different types of um, sports and they're coming in and it's really exciting as well because they're, I'm a winter sport athlete and they're a summer sport so I'm two years behind them so when they were training for London 2012 I was two years you know, waiting for my games to come up and I was look, seeing all of their efforts and like coming to fruition and stuff and now I've won my gold I'm now able to support them in their two in their two years so they're they're coming up now to Rio 2016 and it's really exciting like seeing all the boxers the boxers are, I don't know they've got they've got my wee heart I don't know I see them working so hard like when they come in and yeah it's really I'm looking forward to Rio to seeing how all the Irish athletes get on. I think what happens is that you actually end up learning as a team, so the person that you're skiing with, I skied with, the girl that I won the medal with, I skied with her for four years, four or five years, and you have to learn to trust each other off snow and really build a team, so all that work that you would find in normal team sports, you're, you're developing that within uh, like you and another athlete, and then that communication, then when you bring it into snow, it's all of that off snow communication really helps the on snow communication, so you don't have to worry too much about the fact that you know, that you're there with somebody else, but we see I was competing in five different events. So actually the Super G was my second event and the other events went really terrible. So the gold actually at the time didn't mean very much to me. And it was only when I returned home, like into Belfast that like Mary Peters met me and it was just like it was just incredible. I couldn't believe that so many people had got up early all over the country to watch the ski racing and we got so many lovely cards and they were they were mainly from um, mothers or in fathers and children with disabilities and they were writing to us saying like it was so lovely to see like disabled um, sport on television and stuff so it was it was really really special kind of thing and the gold medal it, it travels around all the schools and everyone gets to hold of it and all that kind of stuff so yeah it's, it's not beyond anyone whether you've got a disability or not kind of thing skiing was just something that I really enjoyed doing and then I realized that I really enjoyed the racing and that I would be good at the racing and then I got involved in it and it's been like a really hard four or five years six years of like competitive training and there's been loads of setbacks and then finally when I got the gold I was just like so it was like a, a feeling of relief rather than of achievement it was just like oh thank goodness like we finally got it kind of thing so definitely I would I, I don't feel that I'm any different to anybody else I've grown up here in Ireland and yeah for me I think and that's why I'm so delighted about being an ambassador for Sightsavers because for me inclusive education seems so natural and right and like bringing it all together like I I wouldn't say like I'm um, an inspiration or whatever but you, you get banded about or whatever but yeah definitely I think that people from here can do whatever they want and be be whatever they need to be and want to be.